Hi, what's up? I'm using internal memory now, so I hope everything's going to be good. My heart's so broken. When I talk about this, it, it just hurts. Like, just to, like, recoil some of the things that happened on the come up when I was growing up. Anyway, so, um, please go check out the previous part to gauge your bearings that you might understand what we're talking about here. But yeah, anyway, when I was working in that store, Goro's Banke, when I was about 19 years old, I made a decision because I did not have a way to get home. Uh, come on, man, why is this thing doing this to me? Uh, I did not have a way to get home from my job that would knock off late at night. Um, there is a lag, a lag that I am picking up on this device. And it's making me very disquieted because I don't want a sound lag. Anyway, whatever. Let's just keep on talking. A sound to audio lag, uh, to, or to visual lag. Moving on. You yeah, know, I I had to decide that I'm going to use... Yeah, I wanted one guy. If I could find one dude that would take me home, that would be great. I was single at the time. I was happy to have a boyfriend. If I could find a dude that was like 20, 21, that had a car, then I would be good. I've always been kind of scared of guys who drove because they were players. But at this point, I was like, you know what? I need a, a driving boyfriend that would take me home. That would pick me up and take me home. So I was literally happy ukukoma, a guy. But I didn't want it to be multiple guys because then i would be in trouble and like i said it would have been ideal if it was a young guy that was my age because uh, i just could not stand like older guys for the life of me uh the intention was never ever to sleep with them like literally that would never have happened but i wanted to like pretty much low-key flirt with the guys to make them take me home and then kind of like continue to use them and if they got all serious and hard knock and intense and expected stuff from me i would then move on to the next one anyway so what happened was um i've already given context of this so please go gauge your bearings uh and how it is that irresponsible parent can make girl children basically prostitute themselves okay so here it is that i was in the store working and i used to be so anxious like to like all day like i would get there perhaps at like two p.m and from the time that i was there at 2 p.m i would literally be like a prostitute essentially on the side of the street scouting for men to take me home and i would get so anxious as the hours progressed if nobody came in that made that kind of pursuit on me uh when it was now 7 p.m about to be 8 9 i would get so anxious because how am i gonna get home how am i gonna get home I worked in that job for a couple of weeks before I quit because it just got heavy. It got too much for me and I couldn't take it anymore. Okay, so here it is that time is progressing and guys that came in, mind you, I actually did end up dating someone uh, that came into the store that pursued me and lo and behold, it was a guy that didn't have a car and our relationship only started, it sort of kind of grew some wings after I had quit that job. So I ended up with a guy that was my kind of guy, you know, a young dude. He was only older than me by a year. And he was an, uh, a, a filming student at AFTA. He was part of a hip hop group. He was just a dude that I was like, you know, I liked him and he liked me and we exchanged numbers uh, on a very natural level type fa setup thing as opposed to one that was fabricated. That was genuine, that was real. So out of that, I came out having defaulted back to who I really am. So I did end up with a boyfriend. That relationship didn't last very long. But anyway, it was not the kind of guy that I was allowed, basically compromising myself to talk to because he looked like he had a car or whatever. So I remember one time this one dude, okay, so what happened just to get, you know, tell, I hate telling the story. Anyway, the one time this one guy, there were a lot of guys that came in, all right? And the kinds of guys that I would genu genuinely be interested in were like kids. They were full of jokes and, you know, just playful, but they were not actively trying to see if they can't you know be with me or whatever because they were flirting and they told themselves that they'll see me again tomorrow when they come back to the mall or they'll see me next week when they come into the mall and they would flirt with me nothing serious the ones that that took me home were the weird guys that couldn't even hold a conversation and that obviously wanted to hit it and quit it the guys that just wanted to you could tell that he's just scanning me very licentiously in a perverted sense and one day hopes to ram into that the kind of guy that will immediately just propose offers to you on the from the get-go to just give you stuff <sighs> young guys if you're a young girl don't come with that they don't come like a, a lightning bolt because they know we're all young and we all don't have money so they tend to kind of up their game, you know what I mean? They 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 talk to you like 
the way that a boy talks to a girl when he's interested in her these other guys or they quickly just ramp up to so when can i pick you up what do you need like they just go in for the kill like straight away right so i had this one friend he was he was one of the annoy he was a young guy i was not attracted to him but he was really friendly he would come into the store and we talk and whatnot and we became fast friends and i found his pursuit very cute but he was just a kid i didn't like him um that way and he liked me so much he wanted to date me uh, that he once he would offer me i remember one time he came into the store at the time tracker caps remember that uh, uh, pharrell song Ding, ding, ding. You, you should stop running, babe. It was still kind of hype at the time. And that song made Trucker Caps very popular because of that beautiful, like, uh, dark skinned girl in the music video uh, with Lauren, next to Lauren. Uh, what's Lauren? The chick that lost Nipsey Hustle. I forgot her surname. Um, next to that Lauren chick, yeah, the that black model. She had a tracker cap, and Pharrell basically made her very famous. But with that music video and that tracker cap, caught fire across the world. I believe in popularity, fame, in terms of fashion items. And I wanted a tracker cap. I wanted a tracker cap. Uh, they were not that expensive, I guess. But like I was, like I said, I didn't have much money, so I couldn't just buy one and buy one and buy one. Uh, type establishment thing. And this dude one time came into the store after I had refused to give him my number so many times and he came in and he was like you like trucker caps we had a conversation and I told him oh my goodness I love trucker caps I think he was wearing one on the day I was like oh my goodness what a cool cap like I really love trucker caps he was like if you give me your number I will buy you I will buy you two, two trucker caps you know so I was like uh, okay so I gave him my number I knew he knew that I didn't like him that way but he thought that if he could just talk to me talk to me talk to me that maybe I will I finally abide and this guy was, this dude was a rich kid. His dad was like a minister in this country or something, but I wasn't interested in him, right? So I gave him my number just purely because he agreed to, if at all, I, you know, give him my number. He will buy me two trucker caps and I wanted those trucker caps. So he bought me two trucker caps and when he came back, I took them and um, I gave him my number and he kept on calling me, hey, girl, what's he doing? Oh, but you're so beautiful. But I'd be like, thanks, dude. No, it's not that kind of party. I'm not interested. He wasn't annoying me. He was just like a playful little guy that just would not get off my toes, but he was not i didn't find him disgusting or anything like that so he was a friend and he got it and it, uh, ultimately when he made he it became clear that i was not interested in being uh with him he would then tell me oh i met this girl so he basically turned what we had into a friendship as opposed to him pursuing me so we became friends okay and this girl that i met and there's a day when he actually brought a girlfriend a, a chick that finally a agreed to date him uh into the store and said this is my girlfriend her name is this she's so pretty don't you think and this girl was just like hey, 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 giggling in front of me anyway whatever so hold that thought hold that guy name uh, i had his number because he kept on calling me saved it he had mine and he was just a decent dude that you know tried with a girl didn't work out and we became friends and he bought me two trucker caps and remember he was a rich kid his dad was the minister of this country in some capacity and he stayed in the area um in santon houghton whatever just around okay it, like i told you it was a rich neighborhood okay and ministers of this land live there cool beans and bananas hold that thought all right uh some dudes came in two men i shall call them men because they were not dudes like in other words age appropriate they were not students they were not young they were not the kinds of people you would find in a nightclub okay um one night look there were a couple just to help you understand during the season i prospered to cajole a couple of guys to take me home that i never saw again like they dropped me off they like sort of kind of you know fraternized with me chatted with me in the store and then i told them i'm not really sure i'm gonna get home today and i would you'd make up some excuse on some my mom is sick this that, that, that. and the dude would be like no it's okay fine so what time do, does the store close and i would tell him 9 p.m he'd be like okay i'll come and pick you up and i'll take you home and i prospered maybe four or five times to get complete strange men to take me home it was so dangerous guys are so dangerous and a lot of them i never saw again one time it was these two nigerian guys and the one dude became so obsessed with me that he kept on coming into the store every single day on some but i love you and it was so embarrassing like in front of my colleagues i'd be like but i'm not interested in you like that and it got to a point where i felt like this dude was becoming a stalker now anyway eventually after i harshly told him no i'm not interested he didn't come back again that was a bit of a scary experience but nonetheless the dude ultimately got the point um but then there was this one experience that traumatized me to this day i still can't deal let's move to the next part